Another type of mechanical connection is this right here. So we have the copper that slides up inside. This is a coupling and you have a special tool and this tool clamps these connections together. So it clamps it down, it grabs it and clamps it together. You can see the little marks left from the tool. It left these little grooves right here and it latches it together. But it's not just that clamp that holds it together. Right here, there's an O-ring in this section right here. If we look in the end, I don't think we're gonna be able to get the light in there where we need it, but right inside of here, there's gonna be a little bit of an O-ring right there, a little rubber O-ring right in this section. Here you can see where I've had this pipe together in the past. There's a little bit of a groove right here. You can see the mark, that's where the O-ring sits. So the O-ring presses on it right there. Now if we push these together, it pushes past that O-ring and you need to push it all the way. See there's this little dot right here. It has to push all the way to the end of this copper hits that dot. So it's all the way in there deep. Then you use that tool right here and these jaws clamp this together and that makes a secure connection. Now the argument is, do these work? Do they not work? Do they last over time? I don't have the answer. I've never personally used these. I've only seen them at the trade shows. Now I've watched many of the forums online and I've seen people that love these and I've seen people that hate these. So a lot of the people that love them say the ones that leak, they say they aren't clamped right or they didn't clamp the correct way. Some tools actually have a little mark that it leaves. So when it clamps right, it leaves letters or it leaves wording on here. So you know that the clamp was done correctly. Others people say they do that and it still leaks. So I, I'm not sure, I haven't done it myself, so I don't know. I've had some people say they love them, some people they hate them. The benefit for that is you don't have to have any kind of brazing, you don't have to flow with nitrogen, uh, you don't have to worry about contamination, you don't have to worry about overheating any valves. The downside is how long does that rubber O-ring last and is the person clamping it, clamping it correct? Was the battery done correct? Uh, was there vibrations? These are things that I don't know the answer to. I don't know what I'm finding in life is there's not just a one size fits all answer for everything. There's not just a one solution for everything. You'll have to make your own decision when it comes to that. Now, one thing I would like to warn you about is some people when they come to these and they have these leaking, what they do is they go ahead and just braze it up. So they braze this connection. So if you're brazing this, you get two things. You need to run nitrogen through while you braze so you don't oxidize the fitting, but also you have the issue of that rubber O-ring. So if we braze this up to get hot enough to braze, that rubber O-ring is gonna melt and catch on fire. And my concern is what happens when that O-ring and all that trash from the O-ring gets into the system? So that's my big concern with brazing an existing pipe. Um, I guess everybody has to make their own decisions of what's, what uh, they feel is the best practice for that. But I'm just introducing you to another way of doing it. Right or wrong, good or bad, it's another way of making a connection.